courtside as we finish off a thriller here at Warrior Arena, 59-58. Yep. Noma, strong on the offensive oh. boards in that last possession. Absolutely. They had five shots at it, five offensive rebounds, could not break the seal. Oh, Warriors come out with the victory, and my post-game uh, post guest, <laughs> AJ himself, my favorite Aussie, I got to ask about the shorts, though. When did you guys start to go to the shorter shorts? Short shorts? I don't know. I reckon it's pretty recent. Yeah. But I'm loving it. It's what we play back home. We have short shorts when we play footy, so it's just natural for me. We play footy. I yeah. love that. 59-58, <laughs> you had a game, 23 points, 7 rebounds, 5 helpers. Mm -hmm. We needed all of it. Yeah, I know. I try my best. Like you said, last year, bring your lunch to work, you're going to get fed. So I'm just trying my best to be there for all the boys, do what needed to be done. So tonight I got it done. So did we expect this kind of contest from Noma coming in? Absolutely. They were 3-0 to start the season, so we knew that they were a very good team, and they showed tonight that they're excellent. They're excellent. They're great on the O-boards, very strong, very talented team. And not only that, we got the revenge win because we lost to them up there a Absolutely. year ago. Yeah, I watched them film before the game and just to get in the, get in the zone because they got me mad when I lost to them last year. So <laughs> it's good to so, get them back. So nice revenge with Absolutely. the 23-point night. Absolutely. Uh, what do you credit for the way your game came together tonight? Was it just the flow? going in your direction it's just the flow i mean the the brotherhood that we share at jessup is unbelievable so being able to be on the court have confidence with everyone every time i shoot i know the boys have my back so just being able to have the confidence yeah and the defense was good tonight for the most part uh, although i gotta say marge winfield had himself a game oh, as yeah. well he uh we we dapped up after the game we respected each other's game because he can play he's a very good player yeah i think he ended up with what 25 points tonight yes oh, yeah. he did 25 for yeah. him very so he kept a minute for most of the night it seemed like every time we looked to make a move to get that lead out a little bit All more right. next thing you know they hit a three. Yeah, I know. It, yeah, and it, they weren't easy threes. No, they were all contested step backs. Like, yeah. unbelievable shots. And they're shot. dropping them from nowhere. But yet, from two feet in with five offensive they rebounds, at the end, they couldn't make that. Most important shot. So. Thank God they didn't shoot a three. Oh, thank goodness. Absolutely. I think you all were thinking that. Yes, very So where nice. do we go from here? To be honest, I'm not sure. So you're, uh, you're going to practice. <laughs> that I know. Uh, tomorrow, hopefully, we have the day off maybe. But no. Nah. Uh, yeah, I think no matter who we play, it's going to be a great competition. So you think Coach is going to give you the day off, huh? Probably not. We'll probably watch a lot of film. I know we'll watch a lot of our O-boards that they got. So. so, And what is it? Is film session fun as long as you're not the one getting picked on? I don't think it's fun, but it's it's very formative. It's very, you know, you don't just watch yourself. You watch the whole team. It's not just all eyes on you. You watch the whole team. Everyone makes mistakes, so we all just accept the fact that we all make so, mistakes. So when you're watching this film and you get into a game situation, are there times when we go, oh, my God, it's just like it was on film? Absolutely. Absolutely, just like boxing out, you, you notice yourself more not hitting the players, not going to get the rebound. So now that we're, we're watching the film, now we bring it to the court, we actually realize, oh, yeah, now we can hit them, now we can do it. Yeah, now we get it done. Well, we got the victory tonight, first of the regular year yes. against Noma. Yep. And, you know, we'll, we'll take that victory by a digit. Uh, got another more games coming up. And I lost my score sheet that tells me where we're going next, which I'm very disappointed about. Because no. I was hoping you guys were playing again tomorrow, but apparently it's only no. the ladies that get to it's play. It's only this the course. Alaskan teams that play back to back. Yeah. So, yeah, so, uh, yeah, so you, your girl Burns, you'll be out here again tomorrow. Yes, which be I'll good. be out here in the crowd watching, supporting. So okay, yeah. maybe you can come by and uh, sit and do some color with me. Oh, I wish. That'd be kind maybe of fun. that'd be pretty fun, wouldn't yeah. it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You got to be as good as Lance. Oh, he's very good. So I don't know if I can live up to his. Yeah, part, he was but. teaching me about that Zoom offense that they run. Oh, the handoff into ball screen. Yeah, we knew that that was going to come in. And that's what he was saying you guys worked on it. coach Timmons had Absolutely. you guys working it we'll, overtime we'll like 40 in. 45 minutes working on that yeah we'll we dialed in we go through scout we know their plays so we try and you know find what works best for us in our system to beat them so so tell me about Troy Creighton oh what a great player off the bench wasn't he bought a light and then he played the big minutes in the crunch so absolutely pleasure playing with him coming off the bench he knows that if he doesn't play he, he might play the next game so he's ready to suit up he's ready to go which i really love about and him. and coach and i were both talking about some of the development of other players in uh, specifically duke gibson duke, a yep. year again some of the situations that happened tonight duke would have lost his mind he would have ran somebody over yes. he would have complained he would have been down he would have been on the bench Absolutely. today he came in and made some great plays yes he's growing so much as a person and it's awesome being a part of his journey you know he's He's, he's got a little bit of a hot head, but, you know, I love him for that. He keeps us all composed as well in the locker room. He does our prayer. He's a very exceptional young man. He's going to become a great man. So, does, does Troy keep him in check? Because I know those two are buddies. It might it might be the other way. I think Duke, Troy's a little chippy too, but no, oh. they, they both work so perfectly together and they know each other. So All right. Look up there. Let's say hi to Mom and Dad. Hello, Mom and Dad. I know Mom just landed Pucci, safely. The, so. the Pucci down under, Stu? You still got the dog The down? dog, yeah. Molly, she's still Molly. at home. She's, she's probably sleeping right now. Yeah, she's probably sleeping. So where's your mom flying to? My mom just had a netball carnival. 
So, I don't know, it's like a women's basketball, but without the backboard, no dribbling. Huh. She just had a carnival at the, the, the young age of 54. Nice. And she played 11 games in two days. So wow. she, when you say an athlete, she's the definition of athlete, and she, she's amazing. She's so that's where life. you get it from. I get it from mom, a little bit of dad. Nah, <laughs> they were both exceptional parents. So well, great game athlete. tonight, my friend. Always good to have you on. Uh, enjoy the post game. I think there might be some pizza somewhere. That's oh, what I've I heard. So. I'm so hungry. Yeah. Favorite food again? Panda Express. Panda Express now. Hot take. Boy, look at you. Hot Coming take. over to the States, the next <laughs> thing you know, it's Panda Express. Panda Express. I Gotta love it. it. Gotta love it. He's AJ. I'm Dave. Thank you much for listening again. Final score, Warriors 59. Noma 58. We're going to say goodnight and God bless from Warrior Arena. Thank you, guys.